this episode of Bug Out Vehicles UK, I've got something a little bit special for you. What, what's with this? Yeah, was like, oh. It's an Urban Arc Overland takeover. Right, so what we've got this week, something a little bit different. Excuse the weird mic setup. It is mega, mega windy today. And um, yeah, it is what it is. So we've got aid over. Uh, he's come over for the night. And basically, we've got a walk around of something super, super posh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it posh. To me, posh. it is. I, I use a Land Rover. Yeah, it yeah it is posh. It's um, it's a bit clean. It's a bit lovely. I'm totally in love with it. It is for sale. This is slight advert, slight van tour, slight YouTube collaboration. It's a bit of all, really, isn't it? So um, yeah, welcome. This is my 2019 Mercedes Sprinter 907 mid wheel base. It is a front wheel drive, unfortunately. Um, it's got all of the aspects of a four wheel drive. Obviously, the way it looks and its rugged um, appearance. But yes. It is a front wheel drive, so let's just poke that out there straight away. Comes with so many goodies, all of the Terra Wagon stuff, um, Gecko Vans, um, LED bonnet mounts. It comes with the Gecko Vans um, wheel carrier, a Pinky's custom fabrication roof rack. I always forget um, with the long list of stuff that is actually on this van. 280 watts of solar on the roof, um, LED light bar, a Thule. You saying Thule or Thule? I say Thule. It comes with a two litre on in, he don't know anything. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, the exterior of this van, um, flare space, they make a massive difference. Like I said over on my channel, which is probably in the link, is it? Yeah, it's in the description box below, but one thing I would say for this is if there's any particular part of this vehicle that you like the look of, there is individual build videos from when he bought this as a panel van all mm. the way through to where it sits now. So if there's something that you like, check his channel out he's got the playlist sorted go down it find the bit you want you've got all the detailed info so we don't have to waffle for half an hour on every subject yeah every aspect of this van has got a dedicated video such as the wheel carrier um, installation of the roof rack everything but um, yeah the flares from flare space absolutely cracking and like I was trying to say um, they are not any UK made replica they are the real deal um, with the CR Lawrence windows absolutely stunning van to look at Let's take you on the inside and take a look. Right, so my Mercedes Sprinter, um, I designed it to travel five and sleep five. We are gonna have to take you inside now because the audio is just gonna be all over the place. I apologize in advance if up to now it is terrible, but let's go take a seat and let's go take a look at the inside because I am super proud. Right, so inside, what have you got? Right, um, the inside was a massive labor of love. Um, I went down the road of the little bit bolt-on look so I went for the tweed fabric which was very very popular I had so many people asking about that um, with the exposed bolt head so that is the look of the van I even kept the, um, the factory trunk in that concealed all, the, all of the electrics I love the look of how bolt-on and rugged it is um, that's the only way to explain it but we have got swiveling seats obviously um, no brainer because at this point all of this room is now available I managed to um, get onto the Mercedes factory website and get these return pillars. Now I know that sounds petty and I did mention it in my video, but it makes such a difference rather than buying bolt on kind of caps and stuff like that. It is a factory finish. I am super, super proud. Seats five, sleeps five. We make use of a rib bed for the rear traveling seats. That also becomes a full single bed, uh, a solid surface. We make use of the kabunk here for um, two bunk beds for the smaller and we have a full UK double in the rear, sleeps up to six foot four. It's a six inch memory foam mattress. Sleeping is the most important thing I feel when you go and camping, so you will not be shy of a good night's sleep when it comes to this vehicle. We've got the kitchen pod over there. I assume we were gonna be doing something really clever with B-roll right now, but we got the uh, 50 litre Vitrofigo fridge, plenty of storage. We got a sit on induction hob. Of course, we've got running hot water, um, 10 liters of water heated via electric with a um, sure cow calorifier, absolutely great. The whole van is controlled via an Orgs beam switch panel. This is a simple, simple build. It wasn't simple for me to build it, 
but the end user is going to find this simple the whole vehicle is controlled via one switch panel absolutely love that and it is powered and we'll probably take you back there shortly by a goal zero yeti 3000x which is an absolute monster of a power bank honestly i've never seen anything like it it has a 600 watt b2b it has um, an mppt built into it it's all controllable via bluetooth it's an absolute weapon of a power bank and it will keep this vehicle off grid for days so i'm fully aware that five people in a van um, is a bit cozy don't get me wrong um, i don't like four people so put it that way but there is a lot of space in here um, the, the footprint is big the fact that that rib bed racks back we're sleeping sideways it's big it's airy it's light we've got the extra window vents windows pretty much all round, including the ones that are in the bed area the ceiling height on this vehicle is absolutely astonishing when i get out of my big black van which is the long wheelbase and that's a rear wheel drive honestly i step into this and i can jump i can i'm gonna jump i'm gonna jump ready you can jump you can jump in this van and i'm six foot if i if i straighten my back a little bit but it is a massive van. Yes, there's no shower, I get that. There's a shower on the back. Um, that's got a awning cubicle, which I absolutely love. We got a porta potty. It's one of them. You either want traveling seats and space and a maneuverable van, or you want a long wheelbase, unmaneuverable, lacking in space van with a shower. Options are there. I chose this option and I love it. Right, so one thing, um, spending a lot of weekends out and about, one thing that makes a vehicle really, really work is how comfortable it is in different temperatures so uh, when it's cold climate hot climate what have you done to actually make this work it is well insulated i haven't gone for a vapor barrier i know that's going to be controversial um that's a massive argument on youtube i didn't go for a vapor barrier but it is sound deadened um it has the thermo liner and it is well insulated um also openable windows we've got openable windows in the rear We've got the max fan also above the bed. You crack them windows open on the CR Lawrence windows, hit that max fan, you're gonna be sorted. We've got the window vents from Terra Wagon for a bit of that through air. And that's talking about hot times. In the cold times, we've got the Webasto diesel heater that's under the seat. You don't even know it's there. Um, all you see is a grill on the front and that'll give you two kilowatts. That's enough. Believe me, this gets toasty. And please remember, never just apply heat without ventilation. So I always go heat on, crack the max fan, maybe don't even have it running, but you want that air out, you will not get condensation. Not in this van, it's too well designed. The bed is a rib bed, I absolutely love it. So we'll get rid of that table there. All we do is rack it to the front. This comes over, that section goes down, and that gives you an, actually an adult bed. So if you did want to take a mate camping, you don't have to get weird and go all top and taily. But what I do love about this is you can actually leave that wherever you like. So you've got a bit of a, a lounge situation. Right, so Rich just stopped me there and he was wondering if this is actually padded. He hasn't seen a rib bed before, so it is. The back of this, if you come in and see my hand here, this is padded. Now I know the footage will show that this is probably quite a hard surface. It is not. This is lovely and soft and rib or um, Scopima, they do make mattress toppers, but believe me, this is comfortable enough um, to sleep on and it surely is better than the hard ground. And I don't want to bore you too much about the bed, but what I do love about it, as far as traveling is concerned, is it actually racks into the room as well. So um, that person that's traveling up against the wall there, no longer is traveling up against the wall and everyone's got a fair amount of space. Table here, charger point there, TV there, let's go. Welcome to the kitchen area. It is quite simple. It's just a kitchen pod over from um, Evo Motion. We've got the Dometic sink, like I said, once again, um, 10 litres of hot water there usable surface we've got the pop-out worktop if i can find it pop-out worktop for chopping and extending that work surface we have got plenty of storage in this kitchen pod we've got one there which i'd assume would be the cutlery drawer followed by one two three larger larger drawers now what i will say is the one at the bottom this even shocked myself when i packed this vehicle last night you can fit a kettle 
tool-ways, if that's a word, in that bottom drawer. That is a sign of how big that bottom drawer is because you are going to be running electrical appliances in this van. Um, we have a, a sit-on induction hob, that's how you're going to do your cooking. You could add an air fryer if you wanted to, you can add any electrical appliance. The power bank in this van will run any domestic household item. The control center on this van is as simple as it comes. It's run off an AUX beam here, an AUX beam panel, so we can click one button and you can turn your fridge off, um, you turn your water pump off. Now, no matter how good your water pump design is and your water system, every now and then you've got the potential of that in the night. At any point, you can just literally kill the system. Absolutely love that. Max fan control, all of the lighting control, as you can see. Um, this is an absolutely cracking unit and if you head over to my channel i'm currently giving one of these away is that too is that too shameless that is very shameless cheers mate <laughs> well you can check the description box below and i'm sure i've got a link that i get a drink on <laughs> <laughs> i also have a link i have a link i have a better link my link is better <laughs> yeah so this is a sleep sideways situation six foot four at the back Domestic mattress, six inch, memory foam, absolutely beautiful. I am going to admit that I forgot my quilt. So the diesel heater will be put to the test tonight. Openable windows with bug screens. Scenic, beautiful, airy, lovely. And I'm jealous that I haven't got this set up in my own van. Yeah, so listen, this here, while you probably wouldn't want to squeeze them, we'll probably cut that. Seamless. This garage area is genuinely, sadly, my favourite bit. I wish I had this set up in my own van. Yes, you could put a dog basket here, prop that open um, if you are looking to house some dogs as well. But got a Gold Zero 3000X in there, like I previously mentioned. That is an absolute beast of a power supply for a van such as this 260 amp hours of battery you aren't going to need any more than that uh, in this side there is um, we'll probably put some b-roll over the top a few more electrical components including an electrical outlet but that doubles up as a bit of storage this has a pop-off panel and that will house our water supply there's 10 liters of water powered by electric it's optional you don't always want hot water but you have the ability to choose to have hot water and i love that 10 liters with a pretty sufficient pump this side is all storage yes there is a wheel arch in there which takes a bit of it but i still wanted to make use of that because every inch is important big square cupboard big square cupboard tall cupboard 10 amp power outlet absolutely great on the top here there is ample space if you want to put cargo nets if you want to tie anything down that's absolutely great and this area here now when i actually designed the, the garage area of this van and the idea was that it was probably supposed to house bikes still have the option for a bike tray um the front wheel would poke through that's why there is a pass through also if you want to surfboards that's absolutely fine making use of this space probably would be best with some kind of pull out system that's all a future option now we have the direct 4x4 um, awning shower cubicle, as I like to call it. I think this is absolutely gorgeous for what it is. Because of the metal rods that are in the bottom, it actually stays square, so it doesn't all come stick to you if it's, if it's windy and that kind of thing. And then we make use of a bullfinch shower. Um, you just literally plug a hose in, turn it, and then we get water. Bug out vehicles is currently performing a weight test on my <laughs> on my um, cus custom made Pinky's custom fabrications roof rack. Thank you very much, this mate. This is a very tidy roof rack. <laughs> right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Deserved. It's something a little bit different because I'm very, very heavily towards the four befores um, and that scene, but stuff like this is so off-grid it's unreal i mean with the solar with the water with the heating the capacity the capacity the capacity to take five people with you and sleep five people sleeping five people in a medium wheelbase vehicle it's almost unheard of so 
I wanted you to do a, a walk round on this one and not only that it is for sale so check his channel yeah so it's driveway built don't get me wrong um i am not a professional although i am a professional right, right. tradesman I, I, I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna scratch that right now he's saying it's driveway built and he's not a professional this is higher quality than 95 percent of the builders that i've seen when you put yourself out there on youtube and you'll know this everyone comes knocking because they think they know better i was well aware that all of this would be documented and i opened myself up to a barrage no it never came no one mentioned a single thing and now don't get me wrong people may if they were doing this themselves they may do things differently they can pull how they would design it for them in no way can they pull any of the trim any of the quality any of the wiring the plumbing no i've i've seen aid spend days fixating on a piece of aluminium trim that, that if it was me would have had a tech screw at either end of it no and screws. a cap over it no screws it's, it's the te attention to detail like that that makes this next level yeah it's silly things like if you're going to fix into the side of your doors for example um i riv nutted them and i needed to open them up so they got opened up with a drill bit yes they did they get protected then you know it's silly things like that so i was going around protecting every single hole and i think there was about 40 of them um it's silly things like that now like i said people may suggest that they would do things differently but they cannot suggest that this was done incorrectly or on the cheap oh no no the, the, the <laughs> no. attention to detail the quality of products that that's why i really wanted to get the, the walk around on this one and i've been bugging him for ages on it and when it was going to be a rental i was going to be the first person to take it out just so i could have a play with it because it's like i'm looking at this now and just like the tweed on the ceiling on the walls the trim when when you feel everything and touch everything it makes my land rover look like a bit of a nail <laughs> yeah not i'm gonna be truthful my black sprinter so i've got two i've got a long wheelbase which was my first project this is nowhere near sorry that is nowhere near the quality of this i wouldn't want a professional to dismantle my black sprinter um not at this point because there's there's things that i wouldn't be totally happy with um hidden things that you will not notice but with this this could be reverse engineered mm. and i could hold my head up with pride uh honestly it's missing nothing the only thing i've left out and i'm leaving this to the end user is window blinds now the reason is for that i'm a man's man i would choose black or gray the window blinds is an opportunity there's a company they don't know i'm going to shout them out so it's not a plug wonderbug uk you then at any point could introduce a bit of color you might want the seaside you might want forest you might want a picture of your grandkids Pick i don't green that you've already started exactly the on. oh by the way this is green your camera might reflect this being a yellow a mustard it's not it is a very bright green and it looks the nuts believe me but like i say introduce some window blinds and this is done absolute beauty it's my it's honestly my best creation and with having work vans for the last 20 plus years the tires that you've got on this i'd happily take this to morocco yeah i wouldn't want to go in the sand dunes in it but for the desert on the yeah. roads the tracks the things like that it's a capable vehicle it's comfortable you've got the nice touches like the air con the cruise control we're driving down the road earlier and we're having a quiet conversation with each other's and an overland vehicle i don't know maybe i've just gone through the land rover phase where everything's noisy it's hot it's abusive this is just the polar opposite this is like driving a large 4x4 and a very very high-end 4x4 at that the, the seating position the stance the handling everything it's this is a nice piece of kit and in the uk what are what are, what are people know, that know what they're talking about they say they say it might not get you to the last couple of percent of places that's what i've said all along it's this this will do 95 percent of what mine will do better than mine will oh, do it and what i will say is if if this was a four by four is said new owner going to take this to those places because you've got the pavement princess um it's a big thing problem haven't you so so yeah this is this is what it is it's a front wheel drive it's beautiful it's fantastic it is i want this layout for my long wheelbase plus because it's longer i'm gonna have space for a um, bath bathroom shower pod there and that's it this is this is the correct layout this is tidy 
Well, thank you very much for coming along. It's, no, thank uh, you, mate. It's, it's definitely, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some real, real positive comments on this because I don't think the video is going to do this justice. Um, it's one of them ones. If you see Aid at one of the shows, stick your head in, say hello to him. Um, it's it's worth a look. It's definitely worth a look. So thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Head over to my channel and subscribe. Thank you.